Okay, at this stage, I have smoothed out both of my cones and this one will naturally sort of come together at the top. We'll put this one together in a minute. Uh, make sure they are able to handle without smashing together. And then you also have to make sure that they basically fit together. So this one seems a little small. So what you can do is you can have your fingers um, a teeny bit wet and you have to be careful of that seam that you don't pull it apart but you can make the piece, just stretch it out, see how that seam's coming apart. It's not sealed from the inside, so you have to be careful. It's hard to reach in the inside. So you constantly have to reinforce those seams, especially if you're stretching the clay. But, so I'm gonna hold where this the, the seam is while I stretch this a little bit. And you can put a coil in there if you're having trouble with it coming apart and just put a little bit of um, scoring and just smash a little coil in there. As long as it's the same plastic, you'll be fine. So it's a little closer. I think that's pretty good. And remember, we definitely don't want these any thicker than a quarter inch. Mine is a little less than that. You want these to be able to be really um, light in the end, but make sure you can handle them. Okay, so I, uh, at this stage, I'm going to score my openings. This is like the, the body of the fish. And then I will score this. Make sure it's nice and rounded. Make sure also you have smoothed out your clay with your rib. Uh, and nothing on here has little cracks or elephant skin that these are nice and smooth before you put things together. It'll make everything so much easier in the end. Okay, so now you don't really need slip for this. You just need a wet, so a little bit of water on one side. And then you're going to sort of put it, whoopsie, hold it as steady as you can. Now, sitting it down is a little tricky because obviously you don't want to crush your form, but you're going to have to at some point. So it won't hold its form until it is um, hollow. And we have one of the ends that's open still. So you can play around with if it's easier to do this when it is closed at the end, both ends of your cones. But I've always done this um, just like this. So this isn't secure yet. I'm just doing a really fast sort of <clears throat> smearing together, turning it around. And I'll go both ways where I can. And I will add a coil here to make it come together a little better. You don't want a lot of water here. Your clay should be plastic enough that it should smear pretty easily. And at this point, I have this huge kind of piece. I don't think I want my fish to be this big, but I can cut some pieces off later. Like a coil's really gonna help right there. That's not so great. So this end that's open, I'm actually gonna just take that and trap the air right in there. So I just trapped some air in here and just like our seed pod in the very beginning of the year, oh, it's so much happier. So I have closed both ends. So now there's air inside, which is perfect. And I can deal with the body of the fish better. So you can use your two rulers or however you've rolled out your slab and put them on either side in case you're worried about it rolling or you can put a towel down if you don't want to flatten it out. <clears throat> but for right now, I am going to set it down. It's going to be flat on the bottom and that's okay because in the end it will be flat on the bottom. It's pretty sealed, 
But before I go any further, it's only this top little layer that's sealed, like the whole thing isn't sealed. So I'm gonna do a very quick sort of stitching with a coil. So I'll make a pretty thin coil. I don't need anything really big. And it's okay if your coil doesn't go around the whole piece. You can make multiple coils. I have a lot of room here. Move this over a little bit. I should have had this pre-made, but that's okay. And again, we're making, the, all these steps are with the same clay, same stage. So we don't have to use slip at this point. Um, but I am gonna do a little scoring on the edge. I'll do some scoring on my coil. Little water, teeny bit, goes a long way. Don't need slip. And then I can pick it back up, give it a little support, and then I can tap it on, tap it on first. And then I will smear one side. So this is really gonna help to reinforce and the fish won't fall apart. And I'll turn it around. Smear the other side. And I'll do that on the entire circumference of the fish all the way around. And then I will show you what comes next.